Hello, Rap God. Welcome to Making Design Stuffs. I'm your host, Mr. Inside Out. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Gorgeous. Quick clarification. I have zero affiliation for the with the Futter, so I apologize if there was any confusion. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Let, okay, let's go. On today's agenda. Number one, we are all done with the Ambledextrous logo, so I'm gonna show you the last round of changes we made so we can showcase some of our work. Next up, we're gonna review and look at a few changes on the Fashionista logo options I showed y'all a couple videos ago. After that, we're gonna start a brand new logo design challenge. Now, Number 29. And then last and certainly most, not least, most exciting, <laughs> Divergent Group at our awesome upcoming design club, Art Week. So let's make like Gmail and send off stuff that we regret. <laughs> oh, that's true. All right, so in the last video, this is where we were with the Amble Dextrous. For two boy, one with 50% of the vote. Congratulations. Christina said, uh, she thinks the machete now looks a little bit weird and the wind thing looks like an additional piece coming off of it, not necessarily like wind. Hug Finn said, if you want to make the machete look like it's cutting without changing the perspective, you could take the end of the film that gets cut off and he actually says move it over the machete instead. Both of these comments were extremely helpful. So after some communication with Alex, we've finalized this bad boy. Take a gander. So Alex decided it would be best if we just get rid of the wood mark in general. We've moved up the machete a little bit, so more of the end of the of the blade is cutting the film. And then also we haven't moved the film all the way above the machete. In my humble opinion, that's a little bit too disconnected, but what we have done is we've flipped it. So you give a little bit of that idea. Also, it's kind of important for me that the logo makes like kind of an X mark. <laughs> so leaving the film at the bottom there makes kind of a nice uh, visual balance for me. So this was the final guys and spies. Mickey Mouse and fries. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys so much for all your input for the whole time. Can we get some double snaps for Alex and all of us and for completing this project? Oh, Jose, can you see? Next up, Buttercup, last time I gave you the options for a fashionista logo. I showed you these bad boys. Well, actually it was boy, girl, and shirt boy. <laughs> and shirt boy, one out with 68% of the vote. That leaves a 31%. Wow, it's happening again. <laughs> oh, why is that number so common? Anyways, congratulations to Shirt Boy. Yes. And uh, here's a comment from Gabriel. He says uh, he would accentuate the little drip that comes down. So let's do that. So here's a version of the updated Shirt Boy logo as it would look like an app icon. I actually really dig the simplicity of it as an app icon. And here's a black and white version that makes it look a little bit more connected to the fonts. So that's that for the fashionista. Elbow claps. Aunt Jemima pancakes. Okay, that brings us to the big project of th th this calendar day. <laughs> we have a new logo design challenge. This one is number 29. Wow, we are so close to the end. What are we gonna do at 30? Oh no. <laughs> this one comes to us from Logan Bates. <laughs> oh no. Hi there. Film is a nonprofit supporting film students with scholarships. The name Film is the first name of our four founders. Frank, Isabella, Logan Paul, and Marcia. We'd like to create a logo that is black and white. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing your creation. Logan Bates. Film. <laughs> okay, Logan Bates, uh, I'm gonna take a real quick two week nap and then I'll get started on your logo right away. <laughs> oh no. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I wanted to start with, I draw out maybe like five ideas, but I want to start with this one, which is basically, I think it's like the viewfinder when you look through a camera, kind of, so you can center your individual or off-center them if you want to make people feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I really like uh, drawing letters. I don't know why. Although I, I don't like lettering. <laughs> There's a difference, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I really wanted, I'm on this whole kick of like, you know, being illustratory and artsy, <laughs> but trying to find a good balance of like not too drawn or artistic feeling 
and still having a, a good balance of designer-ish year. So, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do for these two logos. So that, the first concept was looking through a viewfinder of a camera. And um, this one is much more along the lines of that they give scholarships to film students. So uh, this is kind of along the lines of student slash scholarships. It's a woman, it's a girl. It's a girl with a graduation cap. Cap and gown. <laughs> you know those things are kind of, exp I don't know, usually it's like $80 to $200 to rent one when you graduate. Uh, I gotta tell you, I, I got a bone to pick with the university system. I'm not, I'm not that big of a fan. <laughs> uh, I just paid my student loan today. Uh, uh, anyways, so this is a, a, another film strip. I've been working with film a lot recently. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, yeah, and it looks, I thought it looked kind of cool in black and white. And um, I had the idea to put some font above it because the bottom is kind of rounded, so it's cool to round the top as well, so you can complete the circle of life, Lion King style. <laughs> what up, Mufasa? <laughs> um, but I, ultimately, I decided against it. Um, but I still spent a bunch of time doing it, apparently. <laughs> no, but I just repeat the film text that I made for the screenshot one. But ultimately, they change. So here are the options to choose from. Graduate Film Boy and Viewfinder Monday Boy. So the Viewfinder, I thought, didn't have any connection to a scholarship. So I thought maybe if we stack them, it also looks like money. So it's like uh, you're getting paid money to look through the Viewfinder. Yeah, it's a connection, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Freddie Mercury, those are the options for Logan Bates's Phylum logo. Let me know in the poll right now which idea you think is bastard. Thank you. Also, make sure to give this video a like if you enjoy eating breakfast at night. All right, guys, let's make this quick like. Banana split like. I live in that lit life. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. <laughs> so for the Divergent group, of our awesome design club, rtweak.com. Last time I asked you guys, what character slash setting do you think would be really good ideas? I've summarized kind of two concepts that were a little bit popular. Extreme thank yous to everybody who left a comment offering ideas for the Divergent group. So the first concept direction we can go down is kind of an urban setting and a character doing some graffiti. And the other concept is having a group of the same characters, but one character has kind of a different physical trait that makes him or her stand out from the Chris out. So don't go slow and join in the action in the poll above. All right, y'all, there will be another video tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. PST if you'd like to come back and join in the fun. <laughs> All right, have a magical day. Stay awesome, possum, and I'll see you later, alligator. Bye, guys.